What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jim. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are doing another video with the F80 and it's five things I don't like about the F80. Now, uh, all you guys don't like these type of videos, but I like to make these kind of videos mainly because a lot of people like myself, when I was looking at an F80 and an F82, or I was looking between an E92 and an F80 or a G80 and an F80, you, want, you guys kind of want to you know, weigh the pros and cons before you jump into a huge purchase like this. So that's why I kind of want to make videos like this. A lot of you guys who are subscribed are wondering when I'm going to start actually building the car. Do not worry guys, parts are coming and we just have to wait for it i can't tell fedex to hurry up i know when you guys caught my merch i get it to you guys as soon as possible but i mean fedex doesn't care they're not as loving and compassionate as i am is trying to get you guys as things asap out but anywho we are sitting in the interior in like this parking lot that i literally drove 30 minutes to find i, I just wanted something kind of like chill there's no other cars um we got we're underneath a tree so that's absolutely perfect and most of the things that i don't like i want to say hate but i don't like um, is that is actually from the interior. There's not really much from the exterior So we're just gonna be pretty much chilling like villains inside the car and that's why I'm uploading this back-to-back -back. I don't really consider this one of my main uploads I'm just trying to get this in there uh, just to show you guys some content But uh, that's why it's not my every other day upload I'm doing this the next day so the next day I could probably get you guys some really good content again This is more of just an informative video Anywho, <laughs> North stop talking. Let's get into the facts So the first things first is gonna have to be the steering wheel So the car is currently in comfort which makes the steering wheel kind of loose um, for some reason on the E92 M3, I love this steering because of how responsive, like just one little tilt on the E92. I, I don't know about the E46 or the E36. I don't think, actually, I think those are even way more looser than this. But the E92, the E chassis M3s were just absolutely amazing when it comes to steering wheel responses. They were heavy and every little piece that you turn affects the turning of the car. Um, for this car, I feel like it's a little too loose. This is comfort. You can literally do it with one finger. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous in my opinion and honestly unsafe. Now, this isn't comfort. If I go ahead and click this button you can switch it from comfort to sport to sport plus and it does make it a little bit more hard as you guys can see i can't really um turn it as much but as you guys can see there's still some play in the wheel and i don't like that personally i like how in the e92 m3 it's like there is no play whatsoever in the steering wheel which i absolutely love now this is comparing it to e92 m3 the g80 um i believe is similar to this in a way but i mean some people love it some people hate it some people like how um kind of loose it is i honestly i'm not a fan of that i mean i i, I know people like the steering wheels so sometimes being light i know my wife likes the steering wheel being kind of light but for me i like it as heavy as possible i just feel more in control of the car and it's not as easy to lose control if you guys know what i mean the second thing is is the fact that this car does not have a backup camera now for a car that is sixty-five thousand dollars base price i just cannot believe it doesn't come with a backup camera no sensors no backup camera i mean what if you just back up accidentally into a tree i mean or just even a curb and if your car is low enough your exhaust tip is going to scrape against the curb anything at all i'm just not a fan of that I just don't understand why that ain't coming. Like I said on the last video, it came with heated seats as like a standard option. It came with the carbon fiber trim, which is really nice. I love that stuff. It even comes with the rear heated seats, which I absolutely love. Harman Kardon sound system for the 2015 and 2016 was a base option. So that is awesome. But why not the backup camera? I just didn't understand that. It's not like it adds too much weight to the car or anything like that. I just think a backup camera would have been perfect, would have been ideal. And unfortunately, most BMWs from the factory don't actually come with a backup camera. It is what it is. And we're still number two, guys, Um, in terms of spec. What I don't like is the fact that you actually have to option out the heads up display. This car does not come with the heads, heads up display. I'm going to be doing a full retrofit. So for those of you guys who don't have a heads up display and want to do a heads up display retrofit like an OEM one, I'm going to be trying to get the extended leather dash, um, the red extended leather dash, because I just think that looks a whole better than that. Actually, that's my number three. I'll talk about that. But while I get the new dash, I'm actually going to retrofit the heads up display, an OEM one. So uh, from the factory, it should feel like, the, you know, the, exactly like the factory one. I'm going to code it in like the factory one. That is a video that I'm going to have to make because I honestly think that's quite ridiculous now before i actually get into my number three which is something to do with the dash i'm actually gonna get into my number four of why i don't like this car and it's the fact that yes i mean i like every other m car there's always something that's majorly wrong with it like that e92 chassis um the you know the the e60 chassis those are like the rod bearings and the, the actuators and a bunch of other random stuff like the smg pumps like those cars had major issues like this car um it's kind of some people say it's a myth but some people say it's true and the crank hub can spin out and you pretty much lost an entire engine if your crank hub spins out now i did it on my m4 i'm gonna be doing it on this car just for that peace of mind it's really not worth it honestly like a two uh, spending that two three thousand dollars up front to have that peace of mind upgrading a proper paperwork will not only increase the value of the car but also give you that peace of mind mainly because 
This motor is about $10,000 used without labor and that's just a lot of money. So that is my number four. Let's get back to my number three because I didn't really address that. Third thing I hate about this car is the dashboard. This is just the same exact dashboard. I have my 328, uh, my 435. It's just the absolute, like the exact same dash. I just don't like uh, how a premium car and a base model car come with the exact same dash. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not bashing on the F30s. I absolutely love the F chassis. All of them, I love them. My 435 was an absolutely amazing car. All I'm saying is that when you're actually paying for an M car, at least make the dash somewhat a little bit different. Whether it just has a little bit of stitching on it or something, I just don't like how it's the exact same dash. Because if you're coming from an F30 or an F32 and you come into your F80, from this perspective, if you got an M Sport, it is pretty much the exact same. And I want to have a different experience. Besides the cluster, this is obviously a lot better. You have the shift lights, you have the M logo. This is all lit up. It looks so much better. Uh, but I mean, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. So with the M cars with the extended leather, I think that's absolutely amazing. I, I feel like that should just be base, but obviously BMW has got to add the, those extra packages to make more money. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. But honestly, that's why I'm doing the retrofit for the heads up display. So at the same time, I can also get an extended le uh, leather dash. I don't know if you guys ever seen extended red leather, but it's basically red from here and it goes actually over the center console. Then all of this is like this really nice premium stitching. And I'm actually going to be replacing these door panels with the extended leather ones as soon as I find some. These are just, again, just, I don't know. This is just feels really cheap to me and uh, I cannot wait to upgrade with extended leather. So yeah, that's my number three. Number four is definitely the fact that it has a major issue like the other BMWs. Um, it is what it is. I mean, you win some, you lose some, but absolutely this is by far the most reliable and the most comfortable M car uh, that I've ever driven. Now getting to my number five, because I said comfortable, it's not entirely comfortable. Like these seats are absolutely amazing. I love the seats, but but these seats don't even hug you from the sides. And there's no airbags on the side of these seats. My wife's 135 has like little bags right here that kind of inflate to kind of keep you in the seat. That's the number one thing that I kind of was like, huh, that's a little odd why these seats don't have it. Another thing that I don't like about these seats, now they do look comfortable, they do look nice, but they are very, very, very uncomfortable when you're going on long road trips. When I took the M4 down to LA, basically the exact same seats the exact same leather um i was that my butt was hurting my back was hurting it was just a super uncomfortable seat now obviously this is a performance car it's not really meant to be driven around like just as a daily commuter it's meant to be driven as a performance vehicle but obviously it's not like a gt model or something and it needs to be just for track use people are daily in these cars i just feel like if this thing had just a little bit more cushioning it's just so hard and over time it just hurts like on the i8 the i8 seats are super, super, super comfortable. They don't really hug you on the sides, but they are super comfortable. And when I'm driving that thing, when I drove it literally from Irvine to here, it was one of the most comfortable rides. And you guys wouldn't think that because it is a sports car, but it is one of the most comfortable rides ever. In terms of the seats, at least. Now, for those of you guys who sticked around, um, I'm gonna pretty much be announcing the winner of the Carly adapter. So shout out to everyone that participated. All you had to do is pretty much subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Vaptronic, which you guys did, and just comment on their video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to their video right now and go ahead and select the winner. And now that we're more towards the end of the video, this is the next day, guys. I did want to give a special shout out to that one person that actually guessed the exact spec of the car. He actually guessed it mainly because he was actually following Nick and he was following my page and I didn't post anything, but Nick posted that he got my 135 and part of the deal. And uh, yeah, he noticed that, then he gets the full spec. So yeah, he deserves some extra free merch. And go ahead and pop up his name right here and how he guessed it, and that was pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and send him out some merch. He's such a shout out to him. But now the Carly Adapter giveaway winner. I told you guys to enter, you only have to be pretty much subscribed to Vaptronic myself, and then just comment on this video right here. So we did get quite a bit of comments, 169. Pretty good stuff here. I don't know if it's gonna count these ones, the replies. Uh, but I'm hoping you guys also commented down here. There's a bunch of comments. Now I'm gonna make sure this comment, that whoever that commented is not from his channel, it's from our channel, so do not worry. But I think the only thing we pretty much have to do is just copy the link up here. Then I found this like YouTube comment selector. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right there. Uh, filter duplicate users. Yes, I'm gonna filter that. Include replies to comments. Oh, actually we can do that, okay. Filter comments based on specific text. No, exclude, no, we're good. Okay, so get YouTube comments. So it should pop up somewhere around like 160 something. Okay, 157, so that's perfect. So at this point, guys, I'm not gonna do any cutouts so you guys don't think like I did this multiple times or something. Cause I mean, the winner is the winner. Ch no chicken dinner, you know what I'm saying? So uh, start raffle and pick random winner, guys. So bada bing, bada bing. Let's see who won the Carly adapter. My man, this better be the new Fast and Furious movie, LOL. Okay, so this guy, when did he post his comment? Let's go ahead and see. Um, so his name is Mub 
Mubian. So I just went on the video. He actually commented the comment right there two days ago, which is when I did the giveaway. So yeah, my guy right here. Hit me up on Instagram and you will get the free Carly adapter. Congratulations, bro. But yeah, guys, we are still waiting on the mods. They're still coming in. So unfortunately, it is what it is. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the winner um, is going to be claiming his Carly adapter. I hope he claims. I'm going to give him about a week to claim it. If he doesn't claim it, I draw, I, I'll pretty much draw a new winner. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go ahead and claim this. But I, I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all posted. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.